Welcome back viewers. Today we will be testing a divergence indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched my first video and the videos after that, you need to go do that right now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down in the description below. You can also find a link to our Discord server so that way we can all discuss testing indicators and building our trading system. And lastly, you can find a link below to TradingView. If you sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money using the link below. Now that we have that out of the way, as I said, we will be testing a divergence indicator. Now, in one of the last videos, we did of the MACD, the Moving Average Convergence Divergence, I touched base a little bit on divergence. Um, in this video, we will go a little bit more into divergence and we will actually test an indicator that uh, reads divergence and displays it for us. If you remember in that video, I said that divergence is a very uh, subjective um, way of trading. And so, uh, to be fair and give divergence its fair shakedown, uh, I have found an indicator here on TradingView that does all the work for you. Gives you that clear uh, green light, red light signal that I referred uh, to in multiple videos. The green light, red light, uh, entry, uh, not entry type trading that we want. We want to keep as much biased, as much opinion out of our trading as possible. Um, that way, anybody who trades our system will be able to trade it and be able to achieve the same results that we achieve with our system. So. With all that being said, let me track it down here. Divergence indicator. Okay. So, uh, we, of course, are on a random pair. We, of course, are on a random pair. Uh, it is the Aussie dollar versus the Japanese yen. And our stop is 105 and our take profit is 70 pips that of course uh, are designated by the ATR um, if you do not know what I mean by the ATR and how we use it to set our stop and our take profit that is why you need to go back and watch the other videos in the series so that way you know what we are talking about and how we use the tools that we are using so far all right, with all that being said, let's go back to, um, let's see, I haven't done 2017 in a while, so let's go back to 2017. 2017, about right here, in this area. And as you can see by the chart below, let me start the replay function here first, so I can zoom out a little bit. As you can see by the chart below, it gives us a, a signal of bullish divergence and bearish divergence. And in this case, we are not going to use any other signal than a simple uh, green for uh, buy and a red for sell. That's it. We're not going to use uh, candlesticks. We're not going to try to put any other, um, you know, any other indicator or any other uh, signal into that into the divergence indicator. 
that's how we get into a very biased, a very subjective way of trading. Uh, is if we start looking for things like, uh, you know, candlestick patterns or, you know, what have you. So, all right, now that we have said all that, let's get this show on the road. Now, um, I have never tested the divergence indicator. I've never used the divergence indicator. But if you saw what I just saw, uh, there might be something rather questionable about using it using this particular indicator. And this is something we need to look out for on other indicators as well you will find some indicators that give you a ridiculously high win to loss ratio and from time to time and more often than not you will find that those indicators are repainting indicators repainting indicators means that it will give you a signal when conditions are ideal and then if the trade goes in the opposite direction of the signal the indicator will take that signal away and then later on repaint it i hope that made sense i hope that if you saw what I saw, um, that gives you a fair idea of what I mean. If you didn't see what I saw, uh, go back and rewind the video um, here before we got, um, where were we? Well, I mean, it was pretty much as soon as the, pretty much as soon as I started the um the replay function here uh it started going to about this area i think three or four days in and it popped up with a bearish divergence and then quickly that bearish divergence disappeared that makes me wonder if on that specific day that it gave the bearish the bearish divergence signal that makes me wonder if it would have shown that signal that day and then the next day or the day after or the day after pulled that signal off. That's, that's what I'm questioning. So let's move on and let's see if we can uh, spot it doing this again. And in case you're wondering, as I said, oh, there we go. Did you see it? Did you see it do it again right there? So it gave us a bearish divergence right here, connecting these two. Points here and here is what it gave us. And then it quickly disappeared oddly enough what's even stranger about this is the fact that it appears it actually gave us a good signal um so this one's got me kind of scratching my head a little bit um as to why it keeps pulling these signals let's try to catch them as they happen trying to give this thing a fair shakedown I, I really want to you know try to be as fair on indicator testing as possible so let's see gave it to us right about here let's say this one was the entry down to here we definitely got a win out of it so 
let's mark this as a win and let's keep our eye out for this repainting and see if we can follow along with it here Oop, there it was give us one right there so look like it was this one to this one but I don't know at what point it actually gave us the signal to go it looked like we were two three maybe four bars past let's let's say three I mean this is this is really not an ideal way to test indicators but we'll like I said we'll we'll give it some kind of shot here this indicator is doing some really wonky things so makes me really question how it gives signals in real time and for those of you who I just can't take my eye off this thing for a moment I'm afraid I'm gonna miss a signal if I do for those oh there we go Let's see so it was this one to this one let's see how it plays out that appears to have been a boss and it was way back in here somewhere but even if it wasn't let's say there 105 is our stop Say somewhere in here. What's strange about it is it hasn't given us a signal yet that has actually stayed. We had one right there. Looks like maybe down here in these candles. So now let's play it forward a little bit. Let's zoom in on these candles some. Let's see. Looks like it was right down in here. So let's say this one. Yep, that was a loss. Yeah, what's weird is that it hasn't given us a signal that's actually stuck yet. You could see them back in the historical charts. So that gives me another idea that we will check into here in just a moment once we run this test. So there, looks like it was down in there. Like we might have actually gotten the win. Man, this one is just so challenging. I'm just not thrilled about how this indicator is functioning. Oh, 
look like we oh wow I got I done skipped past so I'll actually delete this one oh I paused it right there on one so that okay so this is going to test my um, my question I'm wondering if it's repainting every single signal it gives because I'm in the replay function. So I'm going to play it forward here a little bit. Nope. Sure wasn't. So that one's stuck. Yeah, that's really weird. Um, that, and you can see here, it's it has historical signals going on. But in that entire year of replay, it didn't give us a single signal. Right here was the first signal it gave us, and that was in 2018. Um, technically, as far as I can tell, it only gave us four signals um, in the entire year, which is not nearly enough signals to uh, make any kind of decent return on, uh, you know, re return on investment as far as your account goes. I've discussed this before in other videos, kind of the, you know, the benchmark for how many trades we need, as well as not over trading, um, you know, and obviously it's just, it, it's not, it's not doing well here. It's giving us some really weird signals, seems to be repainting. And for those of you who may be asking the question, well, um, you know, if you think a indicate if if you think an indicator is repainting how exactly do you go about you know testing whether or not it is a repainting indicator well the only excuse me the only way i've really found to test for repainting is to throw the chart on like a one minute or even if you can go down below a one minute like a three second or a five second put the uh, indicator up on a very very fast moving pair something that you know really has a lot of a lot of movement throughout the day um, on a very, very short time frame, and then just set and watch the indicator. If the uh, historical data of the indicator is wiggling around and moving, if the signals, in this case, like this indicator gives us signals, if the signals are disappearing um, and then popping up in other places, that's, you know, that's a repainting indicator. And you should steer completely clear of repainting indicators. The reason why is one, um, it makes back testing almost impossible. You just, you know, you you can't you can't back test something if the signals are disappearing on you. And forward testing isn't really good because you know it's essentially a repainting indicator is providing its own bias when it's wrong it erases the signal and then you know basically acts like it never happened and so yeah repainting indicators are just they're no good we want to stay away from them um, at this point this divergence indicator i'm just saying it's a no-go if you all want to throw it up on your charts and play around with it uh you know, go right ahead. Feel free to do it. I am, you know, open ears. Uh, you know how it works around here. If, if you think you can make it work, then let us know. But at this point, it's going on the no list and we're moving on from it. So there's that. I wanted to give Divergence a, a fair chance. And as you can see, um, it didn't turn out too well. So if you have not already liked this video, comment below subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime i post a new video as part of the team it's important that you are seeing the new videos as they come out 
so you know what it is that we are discussing and what indicators we are testing, have tested, and have not tested. Also, like usual, there is a link below in the description to the Discord server. You can join us on Discord so that way we can further discuss the indicators and have discussions as we move forward building our trading system. And lastly, like usual, there is a link below to TradingView. If you like what you see whenever I use TradingView and you are interested in signing up for TradingView, if you use the link below and sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money. So, all right, everybody, I will see you on the next video.